this is the biggest time in history for retail. We have the tools to not just change, but transform every business process. AI and retail are on a significant collision course in the next 12, 24, 36 months. You're either going to be more relevant or less relevant. There is no middle anymore. I feel incredibly lucky to be here at this moment. Retail is going to be not just changed, but transformed in a super short period of time. Conversion rates are going to be very, very high because it's hyper-personalized and everything you do is feeding the AI in a way that next time you come back in, it's going to be better. Caper makes shopping fun. We're introducing gamification capability. So you can spin the wheel for prizes, spin the wheel for discounts, for, mm -hmm. for coupons, and it really transforms the overall shopping experience from being a chore into an adventure. At the end of the day, the retailers are looking for integrated solutions. And that may include some solutions that the retailers develop internally and combine that with solutions that come from some of the most disruptive, most innovative startups in the industry. Creatives are going from having very limited amounts of time to discover the best solutions to having 100x more cycles of discovery, to explore in new mediums, uh, to try things in new ways. What I get super excited about is the productivity that we're going to see in retail with the frontline worker. The intersection of that technology and the empowerment and enablement of technology at the hands of the, of the store associate. So when you look at artificial intelligence, it's not just about the chip, that's part of it, but it's about the software, it's about the startup, it's about the global SIs being ready. It's having prepackaged solutions to take the, the pain out of it for our, for our ecosystem. You can build bias and discrimination into a system, even though you've exhibited yourself, even though the engineers themselves exhibit no particular discriminatory or biased attitudes. This is a big deal. We are talking about a massive societal impact when a technology can do these kinds of things and, and encourage these kinds of infringements. What we need to do, I contend, is inject ethics into business in a way we just have not seen before. We think the good old days of retail are behind us. No, 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 they're ahead of us. New business models will emerge, new companies emerge, new brands will emerge, new retail formats, new retail concepts will emerge. You're either gonna be more relevant or less relevant. There is no middle anymore. It's on us, it's on you, and it's on me to just access anything. You can research anything and anybody to the nth degree. It's all out there. This isn't a wait and see. This isn't a protect and defend the way it's always been. It's an embrace and extend, something we know will only get more powerful. Let's use it to do amazingly good things.